Get your candy grams ordered today. We'll have the details coming up. Welcome to the last hump day of the semester, Indians. On today's broadcast, we'll have basketball and wrestling results. All this and more coming up on KFOI TV 15 News. Good morning, Fort Osage High School. I'm Amate Butte. And I'm Morgan Parsons. Today is Wednesday, December 18th, 2013, and here are today's news and announcements. Order your candy grams all week this week at lunch. See Jessica Wiley and Carolyn Jennings at the candy gram table during lunch to send one free candy gram to a friend or a teacher in the school. Candy grams will be sent on Friday. Stuco is collecting news. Uh, clothing, coats, and blankets at its Freezing for a Reason event on Friday. Please bring clothing and blankets with you to the boys' basketball games on Friday and help the student council members who will be standing outside in the cold. They'll need to layer up on the donations to keep warm, so the more donations, the warmer they will be. Please join SUCO in helping our community with your clothing, coats, and blanket donations. For more information, contact Ms. Burnett in room 43. Last week, the nutrition and wellness classes prepared for finals by making dip for chips. This week, they begin working on more complex dishes to complete the one semester course. And the cooking doesn't end there. Mr. Tholen's class decided to step it up a little bit and make a complete Thai meal earlier this week. Dishes included Thai chicken soup for the appetizer, Thai barbecue chicken, and chicken pad Thai for the main course. They ended the meal with a Thai steamed banana cake. College-bound juniors and seniors that are in good standing may come to the PAC for a college panel discussion Friday during fourth period. Six former Fort graduates will offer tips on college and planning strategies from a student perspective. There will be an all-call to those interested at approximately 9.50 a.m. The 2014 Indian Kickoff Classic Speech and Debate Tournament is January 10th and 11th. Students volunteer Volunteers are needed to serve as timekeepers, especially during Friday night's round, starting at 3.30. See Mr. Phelps in room 35 for more info. Now here's today's sports report. The JV basketball team was in action at home last Friday night against the Liberty Blue Jays. The Indians came up short, losing 63-31. Hayden Baumgartner led the Indians with eight points and Cal Harris added seven. The girls varsity basketball team opened Suburban Middle 7 Conference play on Monday night against Belton. The squad brought their record to an even 3-3 three three with a 60-30 victory over the Pirates. Asia Cole led the Indians attack with 16 points and 11 rebounds. Sierra Glassford, Glassford added 12 points and Paige Bun Morgan Neff and Morgan Neff notched up eight each to pace the Indians. The varsity and JV wrestlers took on the Belton Pirates last night for a home duel. The varsity team won 37 to 25. Wins came from Jesse Jeffries, Elias Vawifi, Jesse Reeser, Joshua Barnes, Nicholas Wiley, Sam Ramsey, Jeremiah Reynolds, Colin Divers, and Kyle Larson. The JV team also came out on top 51 to 30. Kyle Dickmeyer, Ty Murphy, Adam Dickmeyer, Cyrus Fields, Eakin Bunton, Anthony Tinoco, Austin Dunham, Alex Wilson, and Devin Trier all won their matches. Any girl interested in playing girl soccer next spring should stop by room 101 and talk to Coach Andrew Fletcher before the holiday break. Softball conditioning will be each Monday and Wednesday during January from 2.30 to 3, starting the 8th. Meet in the practice gym by the locker room and bring your running shoes. See Coach Sullivan for more details. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar, tonight the boys freshman basketball team travels to Northtown to take on the Hornets of North Kansas City at 5 and the girls freshman basketball team hosts the Hornets at 5. The boys freshman team then hosts Oak Park tomorrow at 5 p.m. and the girls varsity and JV basketball teams play at home against the William Crispin Bears at 5.30 and 7. 
On Friday, the varsity wrestling squad heads to Raytown South to start the Ray South invite. The boys varsity and JV basketball teams will host the William Christman Bears Friday night with games at 5.30 and 7. Come out and support your Indians. That's all we have for you today. We hope you have enjoyed KFOI Daily News this semester. Thanks for watching and we look forward to serving you during the new year. Have a great holiday break.